in a, uh, one of these uh, video podcasts I've done recently, I mentioned the fact that I haven't been the world's best property investor um, historically. I've had some good decisions uh, and I've had some that if the time frame had been different that I've been uh, dealing with, it would have been a different result. Um, but the short answer is I went in without the right team. So what I've been doing this last year or two is I've been looking around at people who I've been introduced to uh, by other professionals. Uh, and I've been looking at those who are making their living out of being better informed on property investment. I mean, they've got repeat clients, they've got clients who come back uh, and reinvest in, with more money in, in, into more properties. So I'm looking at people with a track record of success, a track record that indicates that they know what they're talking about and uh, they're going to make help me make the right decisions on property investment. And it's been really interesting because I've actually um, got a couple of people that I'm, I'm, I would say I'm reasonably close to now in, in that sense. Um, and they've both got very, or they're both part of groups that have got very different strategies. One uh, group looks at uh, existing investment properties, so, so existing properties that have already built um, in suburbs where there's good opportunity for future growth, and they look on it from an Australia-wide perspective. Um, and that's a really interesting strategy because they develop what's called a property clock uh, for the various regions around Australia, and there's a time to buy, there's a time to sell, obviously in terms of the clock, you know, five minutes to midnight, that type of thing. Uh, where you're saying, do we hold or what do we do now? And I find that a really interesting strategy because it actually deals with the established market that we've all, we all know of. We may not visit all these places, but they do, and they look at the research behind it. So it's very numbers-based. Um, still needs to be, I think, added to by the feet on the ground when you're actually making decisions. So that's part of what they, need, they do offer and it's part of what they um, need to offer. Um, the other one is looks at new property development. Now they don't look at any new property development. They look at um, all the developments that are coming up around Australia. So they're, they're across, uh, I suppose, as a, a database they get access to, which gives uh, the different property developments that are coming up. Um, and they do their due diligence on these new developments to pick the ones that are right, uh, they believe are gonna give the best returns. So they're the right developments in the right suburbs, um, giving good rental return for investors. Um, very different strategy, uh, but also there's a lot of merit in what they're doing as well. So it's just interesting to, uh, I'll probably talk more about these in, in future um, video podcasts, uh, but it's very interesting to know that there are some really good people out there who are doing lots of good stuff and they are there to help uh, you become part of, a, uh, of your team to help build your property investment uh, portfolio. Cheers for now.